so so currently luke is getting some food ready in my oven and on my kitchen oven stove so that could be quite interesting but he assures me that he came last the dunce class and the sydney cooking class so that's quite good that's quite comforting you can hear him banging around in the background can't you luke hurley new zealand celebrity i've known him for a long 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 time long time He's going to come soon, don't worry, he will be here shortly. They'll mate, they'll mate together, they'll mate, they'll mate. The two cell phones are next to each other. His phone and my phone. Mine's an S20. I don't know what his one is. He's cooking on my stove. I've already said that, but he's still cooking on my stove. It's, but I feel a bit nervous for some reason. Don't know what's happening with the focus. I think it's your fault that you're in here. What's, the, what's happening here? You have to come in the seat. You have to come wow. into the picture a wee bit. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, Luke. Wow. My sister would say, wow. Wow, Luke. Okay, let's just what happened to your hair, Luke? Because I'm a little bit nervous. Got a very long drive ahead of me. So please, let's just do it, eh? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't care, but I do. So number four, and it's, it's that sips worth a hundred bucks. Took, it took me 10, 10 hours, man. Just have some mercy, man. You've already driven. I oh, know, I already... know, I know. Let's just start. Oh, yeah. well, we are. We have. We have started. So, what do you want to say? You want to talk about music, New Zealand politics? Um, the recent Elon Musk episode or world affairs like Israel versus um I want to talk about how the age old wisdom how things used to be done traditional values uh oh, that's do, good soup. traditional values don't become irrelevant just because we don't follow them. That soup's beautiful. Isn't it? I told you it was. Mm. That's fantastic. Mm. It's New Zealand soup, isn't it? Mm. It's a jungle curry. You can get it in the soup in the in the stupid market. Mm. The stupid market. Oh, well, it's fantastic. Got it in no choice. Back down. Good places. Great what time did you turn up here? Eleven o'clock. Eleven thirty. Yeah, yeah. It was me to take you. How long? 17, 18 minutes to get here, and it took you about forty-five minutes. What were you doing? I had to get way? my car checked on the way. Oh. <gasps> Anyway, let's not be trivial. Let's just talk about something that... Why not? We've lost them already, mate. Let's let's just say something to them. I've already lost them in the intro. <laughs> I did an intro before this. No, but but he's cooking on the stove. Look, Dave, can I just tell you off Enemy and say... Own. No, no. no okay. stop, this. stop, please. All right, well, I'll start it off then. I'll ask you a question. <laughs> I just want to ask you, would you or would you not agree with me that there's, there's a prophecy in the Bible that says that in those days, the love of many will grow cold. I think we're in those times. What do you think about that? No. I think we're in those times where love of many will grow that people are really not understanding the traditional values no because you you're just i've just had some of that soup and i yep. you you brought that in here yeah and you've got stuff in the oven you've yeah, got stuff in the oven as well we've got lots of so lamb that's pretty good love yeah yeah yep. i love food and we've love got, soup we've got good food coming yep yep but that's not going to make Head these guys it. feel any better is it Head is it going to make it. these guys feel better no because then why because we it's just for us it's only for us because we're so special and important not in a gay way there dave no not in a gay way we're allowed to anyway no, no, let's just now. be serious man <laughs> i i really came here with the intention of talking your 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 people on yours your subscribers because 
as an outsider of the chess world, I just say, most times chess players are, uh, for, for, for people who are crap players, I'm a crap chess player, but I like to play chess. There's almost no incentive or no encouragement to people like me to say, hey, come, 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 come play. Not all cool. because you guys take it so seriously in your competition with uh, evenly matched players amongst yourselves. You forget the fact that there's a lot of players out there that are, are not very good players, but they would love to be able to just come and play without any shame. And I suggest you just introduce a reward system like they do in um, boxing matches. You know, in boxing matches, the loser gets paid very well as well. And is that possibly why um, that's such a successful sport? Because uh, they reward both sides, the winner and the loser. So imagine if you had a, a chess special one day at the chess club. You say, hey, the losers take all. Losers take all. And then you bring in... Everyone people. wants to lose. <laughs> And whoever is the worst player of the day gets the biggest prize. You know, you do crazy things like that. Bring them in. Bring people in. <laughs> the one who plays the worst game that has ever been seen mm. is the winner. They win the unbuoyancy prize. Okay, same thing with guitar. If I'm playing, people think that I'm a good guitar player. They won't jam with me. But it's just a game as well. What I do is a game as well. Entertainment business. It's just a game. What you're doing is just a game. Don't take it too seriously. This is my message. I and find, yeah, I find that the most um, watched videos of mine are when I say, I can't play chess. I just mm. can't play it. Even though I've been doing it all this long, can I play chess? Is it, and then I swindle and I win that way but you, I should you have my to return on. to the fact that it's a game you yeah, have to return to that yes you have to always keep that foremost in your mind it's a game that's what it is and it, it's the same in, in what i'm doing people take that way too seriously look at the way the entertainment business is, is just buddied up to the corporate world and now it's like uh, corporate music we don't want i don't want i don't want corporate music I don't listen to corporate music. I like the rough and ready. I'd much rather sit down and listen to music that was yeah, sure, recorded by someone I know. You know, you know the personal touch, the the human touch. Give it, give it small. Small is beautiful. What's happened to all of that? Where do yeah. we put? Where do we put all these traditional values? And it's like you have to reach a million people, find ten people who really care about what you're doing. It's like it's always going to be small. This big, how everything's big, it, it's an illusion. Like the Hollywood star, one of the greatest stars in the history of Hollywood, had been so inactive and had not appeared in a movie for so long that it got to the stage where, you know, a truck would bring her fan mail, went from that to one day, what really hit it, hit the mark. One day she went to Postbox and there wasn't one single fan letter. That was the day she broke down. See? But she should have realized it's a game. It's fun. It's bullshit. People love you one minute and they don't the next. Just live with it. Yeah, That's sure. human nature. Live with the fact. Don't live with the fact of trying to impress people. Live with the fact that the most enjoyable thing is not impressing people. <laughs> I mean, how would they ever make any movie if it wasn't about dysfunction? cataloging dysfunction in people's lives and all the terrible things that go on behind the scenes it makes people pay big money to go to these movies and watch us the movie makers make billions out of out of hanging out dirty washing but in our own lives we'll never do that we won't tell anybody anything but we're quite happy to sit for four hours a day watching horrendous disclosures of how terrible we can get as human beings but for some reason we feel oh no I'm not going to tell you about it. We're not going to hang out with our dirty laundry. No. But I'm just saying, uh, take the filters off. Oh, why about it? You don't try to seem to be anything. I might be a noter, might be a little noter. Be a big noter one day, a little noter the next day. No one's safe. No one's secure. 
the big star of today could be like the janitor of tomorrow i mean shit, it, you just don't know there's people in the movie industry as we speak who used to be huge notice is it they go, don't have work have you heard about this in hollywood yeah i have, they don't have work, man. and we've only got go to like, look at robin oh, williams ah, you just have to see hang on a minute Ooh. oh you know the best the best disclosure of that oh what happened to robin williams tell me no, you're going. To, you're saying the best disclosure, so I'm the, going to be the, quiet the, the, right the, now. The best disclosure of this was in a fiction, in fiction, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's called the Last Tycoon. So there's this super, 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 super famous director. You know, the whole world was enthralled. Okay, someone like uh, Stanley Kubrick, say, in the day, you know, as famous as Stanley Kubrick was in his in, in his working career, this guy, right, fictitious character. I forget, I forget his name. You guys will know, somebody will know this book and we'll tell us what the name of that guy is. Okay. <laughs> Walking down He's the beach. You. Hey, listen to me. Walking I down am. the beach. Listen, listen. Walking down the beach. <laughs> listening, listening. Walking down the beach. This kid. He's uh, throwing starfish back in the water. And uh movie director comes up to him and goes, How are you? And what's your name? And, and I was in his name, and the kid goes, Never heard of him. He's never heard of him. It's just completely <laughs> nothing. And so there's this kid. So this director's going through a really bad time because he's reached this point in his career where he doesn't want to make another movie, but he wants to trade on the fame he had. He thinks he could stroll around and say, You know, I'm whatever. And uh, people go, Oh, gee, well, gee oh, oh, really? Oh, that's amazing. But in this case, it wasn't working at all because just a kid, never heard of him, couldn't care less. Just carried <laughs> on throwing in the starfish that are the stranded scene. on the bit. And the director says to him, and this is a key point, right? Key point. You can think about this for the rest of your life. The director says to him, there's millions of them. What difference does that make? The little kid <laughs> looks at him and says, made a difference to that one. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how we've got to change our thinking. Mate, yeah. it's not about stadiums for the people. I tell you what, if it was, um, if it was a case that uh, suddenly uh, T Taylor Swift has some very embarrassing things revealed to the whole world about herself, and next thing she's playing uh, a stadium with three hundred thousand people in it, and the day after is nobody turning up, <laughs> like happened to Fatty Arbuckle. That's happened to a lot of people. They. They can go from the top to the bottom in a moment, right? So how do you think it feels at that point? Well, it shouldn't, you shouldn't feel anything because really it's always going to be about small groups of people. It, you know, if you reach 100 million people, you're still only going to have a relatively small group of people that actually really care about you. So the yeah. point I was making is out of those 300,000 fans, if somebody had to risk their life to save her, from falling down a cliff or something and climb down there, risk their own life and almost certainly die trying to save her. How many of those 300,000 fans would do that? See, that's the question we need to ask. How many will do that? Not many of any. And that's what you're going many to be Many of any. Wow. Not many of any. Yep. So Sounds see, like many penny. So, I've got to <laughs> wonder what scale we're working at. And also remember, the more people you reach, the more the more things you have to edit out. And that's why mainstream is so boring because when you read your mainstream article, oh, can't offend that bank, can't offend that corporation, can't offend that government department, oh, can't offend that guy. Or what about, about those those mob guys that said they'd, they'd kill us if we mentioned that? No, we can't mention that. <laughs> By the time they've put it through the filter of the people <laughs> they can't offend, and that's why at the end of the day, when you read an article about anything, it's going to be, oh, have a nice day, buddy. You know, it was a bit cloudy. Oh, we can't say it's cloudy. Can we? You might think that's, no, oh, that might be chemtrails. Okay, so you just don't know anything from mainstream. So the smaller it goes, the more introverted it goes, the more satisfying it is emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually, because you can say so much more. That's why people should read books. Books reveal way more information than is diplomatic. Mainstream will not really reveal. 
what a lot of books will reveal. And they're happy and content with that because nobody's reading anymore. So they're quite happy. But if everyone was reading, then there'd be big book burnings going on, you see. Like they used to. First thing to go, books. <laughs> you want to yeah. control the society? Apparently, the book. apparently people are starting to, you know, like books are still being sold. Well, you a read lot. a book, you don't have little pop-ups. You don't have it ringing at you. You have to to no, answer it. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to he go like that, phone. and you don't feel like your your you, like eyes are burning after an hour of reading a book. Like I said, the two phones are sitting there next to each other on my yep. notebook. Yeah, it could be getting on quite well. Yeah, but one's a Samsung. They're my both Samsungs. Oh well, there mine's you go. better than yours. It is. Mine is better than I yours. found out that I was telling you before, Luke, that I just found out about that my cell phone, S20. <gasps> what? You have what? You have got the S22? Or I the have an S23. <laughs> have you fallen for it? Have you? Why haven't you got an S24 yet? I've got an S23 and I've got a. No, I've got a. An S24 and an S22. Oh, I, oh. I've got it. The S20. other day I was filming something and the most incredible image of the room and the people in the room was reflected as I'm, well, I wish I had the other one. Let's just <laughs> take a video of the landscape, but you've got this phone with the reflection. So amazing. Well, I was saying to you, Luke, before that, I was saying to Luke before. What are you saying? You know, because when I'm looking at the screen, I don't know which. Like, that thing. way. Yeah, I got to, that I, way. Yeah, I've got to point the other. All oh, right. That way. But I, I was talking to Luke before, obviously. I've only got one person That's to talk me, to. That's me, guys. That's me. And I was saying to him. Important. Important guy. I looked on the internet the other day on Google, on YouTube, on Google, Google, oh. YouTube, that thing. What and I looked on there and I what said, heck, what's the best phone recording video device? And and the guy there, you can have a look for yourself. The guy there said, there's three types, okay? Yeah. There's three ways to go. Yep. I didn't even bother looking at the second. And the first and the one third, is the samsung phone just as it is and what it gives you for free automatically in use is the best one it's the best one is there all the time good. i didn't it's even know i had it for good. about two and I've a half recorded years. videos and even the microphones are great in them i've recorded videos <laughs> that 30 years ago you need a whole film crew to do it and it'll cost you thousands of dollars yes. all you have to do is just exactly. go like that and yeah. it's just as good better yes. actually better yeah. yes so why aren't people making lots of content for themselves and their friends? Why aren't people making their own videos? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's because of the very issue that this whole interview is about, where I came to you guys saying, hey, you guys, make create a situation where a novice player or a bad player would be feel happy playing with you and he'd be happy to be beaten, like in the boxing world. I know a boxer who lost every fight. He did 60 something fights. He lost every, just about every fight, but he made millions out of it. And he's, he got fans everywhere. But he lost every fight. Why can't yeah. you guys be like that? Why, why, why can't you guys actually not take it so seriously? Say, yeah, yeah. Be sure. so, so committed to the game that it's only the game that you're interested in. And you're not even interested in who wins or loses. It just, really interested in the process and you could just say to people like you have a handicap system just just do an estimate how, how many hours have you sent, spent playing chess in the last 50 years i've spent about half an hour playing chess in the last 50 years so do i think i could play anybody and win I, even if i played anybody at all and when i'd be doing well and um so where do i fit in all this how are you guys going to create a situation where somebody is a total i love the swahili word for it you know what the swahili word for a complete idiot is a bomb bafu <laughs> so you get a bomb bafu player and he walks out of there feeling like a million dollars because you you give him a scone and a pot of tea and you say are you hungry or hey, would you like some would you like a stay we hang out lovely to meet you and all well, you can do that in small numbers. 
We have a chess club and about five people turn up, treat them like your best friends. That's how yeah, you do it. Yeah. So you do it. It'll say, hey, pal, in terms of you having played half an hour in the last 50 years, where you played that game, because of this handicap system we've got here, you won. So how do you do this in your music um, industry that you're I'm not strongly in a, uh, known? Uh, stop <laughs> right there. No, what? no, no, I will not have it. I am not in the music industry. I am not aligned with any musical company. I am not aligned with any record company. I am doing, I'm practicing what I preach. I'm playing music. So like a monkey at a typewriter might come up with something. I'm not, I'm not, I am not claiming to be even anything yeah, i just sure. saying what i am saying to you is i love to play and i love to share my music with people and i love it when when some some beautiful lady throws herself at me because i play guitar so well <clears throat> the only problem with that is when she does do that i have to put the guitar down and as soon as i put the guitar down she runs away only a little spell that you can cast while you're playing as soon as you put <laughs> oh is that stupid oh, oh. is that oh yeah yeah suddenly oh Oh, why are you playing? Did you put your guitar? <laughs> Don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, like, goes like, goes like, go away. Who are you? Oh, come, 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 oh, come. And he goes from there. I'm I put my guitar down, and he goes like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I didn't not do that either. Far from the truth. The wrong way. So far from the truth. Either the vertical way. And then they start using things like he's on the, the spectrum and then they'll, 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 oh they've got you on the spectrum and they've got you this and you got they got you that and yeah we've got we've got we've got a spectrum some words to describe the most complicated thing in the universe it's right, like sure. hey I'm reminded of Ham Hamlet, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are sent by the king and queen to spy on Hamlet. So they ingratiate themselves with him because they knew him years ago, but suddenly they're his best buddy and how are you and all the rest of it. And he just cuts the chase and he says, that flute, right? Can you play it? No. Well, playing a flute is relatively simple. Do you think you can play a human being? Then you see the thing is, that's what the, um, that's what we've got in society now. We've got a name for everything. You know, we've got to put people, oh, I'm elderly. Um, I'm, uh, oh, by the way, oh, if they like you, it's like, hey, he, he's a well-established performer, tried and true, got a lot of fans that like what he's doing. Oh, no, no, we're not going to use that. <laughs> he's, he's a, he's a, look, I'm a veteran performer. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I say to the okay. media that does that to me? I say this one, I say, boom. <laughs> right, and the other thing is, is what about when Rachel and Rod, oh, no. what, Rachel and Rod were having a bit no, of a spat, and she had very, very good uh, publicity team behind her, and suddenly she's she's throwing throwing rocks at him and saying he just plays with trains and he's infantile with all this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, suddenly, what, ha what what happened? You know what he, he suddenly became as soon as her publicity company was spending more money with the mainstream than his publicity company was. Suddenly, he went from a uh, music icon, one of the most greatest stars in the world, and suddenly he becomes, what does he become? Overnight. Aging rocker. Aging rocker. What? <laughs> and one thing's good, I haven't done rock music much. I really never want to be called an aging rocker. <laughs> So what if, if we were to up, do... What about a folked up folky? Hey, he's a folked up folky because his publicity budget is very small and we don't make any money out of him, so we'll just start insulting him. That's the nature of the world we live in, right? So anyway, getting back to the game. The game. And, and everybody does... What about the rugby guys? Holy... What about those guys, man? Do they take it seriously? Mate! It's a... It's a... It's a religion! <laughs> I've got the keys. Hey, 
It's a religion! Rugby's a religion! At least you guys don't do that with your game, do you? Your game is relatively open to everybody compared to rugby. Mate, you imagine rugby, imagine All Blacks playing a team of little spindly little nerds. The All Blacks is yeah, going to be get, no more soon. Get the All Blacks to play a whole lot of computer nerds. That'd be great, wouldn't it? We're going to have no All Blacks soon. You hear that? <gasps> Oh, we're over it now. <laughs> so, yeah, I what I wasn't even starting. <coughs> but the Boy. game. Let's get back uh -huh. to the game. <coughs> oh, <laughs> yuck. Could we you talk see, about they, COVID? They, they're, not, they're not affected. They're not in the same room. If they were in the same room, they no. probably would have. No, no, don't want, don't do that. Please do. No, we well, don't want to talk about got, COVID. <laughs> I tell you what. Um, real do back. Talk about real COVID? back to 1985. What about COVID? Oh, I got a flu. I got a flu. People were always getting flus. The flus were really there. We go really bad. <laughs> they were really bad, and you put you out of work for a good few days. <coughs> but apparently, it's no flus anymore. It's only, you know what it is. You know, you it's know what flus. It is? No, no, masters. It, what COVID. it is? It's not flu anymore. You know what it is? Wait for it. No, I can't do that, Luke. Can't do it that loud. What? Okay. Okay. Anyway, okay. you have to calm down. Oh, slow calm it down. down. You can't. Oh. My, my recorder okay, is. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, you've been there already. 92, 22. So that's what it is now. Yeah. So everything's changed. Oh. And the only thing that becomes part of the public, you know, the public narrative is bought and paid for so what we have to do is just wait until they run out of budget and then they can't keep banging on about it anymore that's all it is yeah i i, I kind of think that that would look good on you i, was no, going no, to pull well, on you, I but... don't think it would look good on me but i know someone i can sell it to so i'm no. going to confiscate no it. no because i've already been offered it's 100 bucks for it. i'm from auckland no so you're not I'll, allowed it i can not allow it no I'll, i will confiscate okay. that because i'm from auckland no you're not allowed it because i've been offered 100 bucks from an auckland but anyway there already. was some serious things i wanted to talk about good to you what you mean that wasn't serious no i just really do i thought it was no i really do because i, I don't really think, do think you think guys serious. take seriously enough fact that chess is a that you take this the, you take it too seriously you don't take seriously the fact that you take it too seriously seriously no that's what i'm trying like, to say if i turn up to someone that's going to play in the game I go, they go they yeah i i can't even remember what they say because they don't talk to me they just go mm. oh hello mm. okay so what does the game do it brings people together when you bring people together, you look after the people. No, seriously. Please be serious for a minute. I am being serious. That's people... what they do. No, I, I can't. Look, I just got to get a serious point across to you. It brings people oh. together. Yeah. Okay, That's what I'll do. wait till you've done your thing. Right. Okay, I've done it. 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 I've done it. Okay. Well, thing I would say to you, Dave, is it's really you important. Go if tell you're off. going to be a great interviewer. <laughs> you've really got to... You've got to understand, if you're interviewing someone, wouldn't you want them to tell you stuff? Would you want them to do that? Or is it all about clowning around? Well, we can't clown around anymore. No, we're say, not clowning around. Oh, please, please don't let's clown around anymore. I'm, I'm really serious. The, 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 way, the way that rugby... Okay, let's, let's take the focus off chess. Take another game like rugby. Would you or would you not agree with me that uh, the Rugby Federation of New Zealand takes that game very very seriously and it's a very exclusive sport and they don't say come come and play and it doesn't matter whether you win or not do they do they have that attitude no no they don't so um why do they do that if you, you have to ask the question why do they do that if it's just a game then by definition it doesn't matter what the outcome is, is. the process is more important than the outcome so if the process brings an outcome of failure on one side um the rewards should be distributed in such a way that even the loser benefits for the fact that they got involved and humiliated themselves and got and, and lost, right? Do you think that's important? 
So what I was saying before is the of course the boxing guys have got it right because both both fighters get remunerated really well. So except first does get more. Of course, but the thing is, you don't get the losers don't get nothing. See what I'm saying? Well, the losers don't get nothing in any other thing too. Like mm. in chess, they don't. The second place getter still gets a good prize. Good. And so, in fact, sometimes the second place getter yeah. gets more than the first place getter. You know why? Because the first more place than the no, other guy. No, mm. no, you, no, completely wrong. The first place getter says to the second place getter, guess what? I'll give you half of my prize money if you let me win. That's happened. Oh, yes, but that's... And so the second place getter gets right. more... Well, that's what happens. Oh, oh no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Happens. Okay, it's good that you reveal that fact because that's also taking the game seriously. And we don't want that. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, correction. It's taking the outcome seriously. Yeah. And, and yeah. so, what, are, yeah. what do you think about the outcome or the actual um, sport itself? What's your viewpoint on that? Do you think that people that enter, like, enter into anything to just go there to win, is that sport or what do you well, think? Well, you, you wind it back to whatever we know, and I, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's not much understanding about how chess was invented, who invented it. I'm not talking about chess per se. I'm talking no, but I'm about... just saying, I'm trying to get back to the beginning. The guy who invented it, what do you think was the context of of that person or whoever getting hired to come up with a game and he came up with that amazing game? Well, what do you think was the context of the times? Because it would have existed in the context of a lot of other things going on. They wouldn't just be playing chess. They would be playing chess. They would be sharing fine food. They would be share, sharing fine wine in a beautiful environment. And they come and play chess and, uh, hey, let's go for a swim or, you know, let's go. I want you to, to visit my friends in a, in a near village at the same time. The, the whole thing was in a context of conviviality and kindness and friendship. But what's happened is we've removed all of that. It's just the game in a really cold, kind of scrody little environment where they've rented the hall for 30 bucks an evening or something. And you're just playing this and I, I doubt you'd even get a cup of tea, right? Wouldn't even wouldn't even throw, throw an old tea bag at you, nothing. And that's what I think is just so sad about the modern age that we've We've got, we've been given the Rolex watch in beautiful packaging. What we've done is open it up and we've thrown away the watch and we've just kept the packaging. That's, that's the modern age. We, we've sort of missed the point that the game was, was set in a context of other things that brought about that beautiful invention. It was in a context of incredible sophisticated civilization, you know, and validation of, of one another's emotions and traditions. But all that's just a gone in out the window. So your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to bring out when they go to your chess club, which is not the chess club, like everywhere all over the world, it's a bit like the acoustic music scene they've stolen acoustic music and they've turned this into only place you can go and showcase your acoustic skills if you're a novice or if you're just climbing up trying to find an audience is a folk club but the folk clubs exactly yeah. like you guys and you go in there and it's like just a scrody old hall cold as buggery sit there shivering not allowed to talk to anybody super serious right at the end they might just give you a tepid cup of tea and just boot you out yeah that's the same get you to sweep the floor so they've robbed the world of beautiful acoustic music and called it folk and have you meet once a week in this scrody little drafty little end of the world like just abandon all hope sort of environment and all the other rich spectrum of other kinds of acoustic music and all these different cultures and Indian and Persian and all sorts of exotic instruments. And those guys 
Oh no, they won't go to the folk club. They know, they know how we're going to get treated in a folk club. They just don't go there. And then, it, and then it's always run by people who've been there forever. They don't let the young people in. There's a whole lot of grandpas and grandmas that run it. Let's face it, it's always, always the way it was. Uh, there's a folk club I went to that was like that, run by people that are ancient. Now I'm one of the ancients. And they, they were just monopolising the stage. It was mainly their friends that played. Young players mm -hmm. hardly got a spot. Treated in an incredibly demeaning and patronising way. And just, yes, yes, OK, we'll get a spot. Yeah. But we've got to get old. we got to get Dave and Bill and Maureen. Who always play every every single week. And by the time you got them out of the way with their in folky stories, only folkies understand the jokes and all that. And by the time you got that out of the way, there's no room for anybody else to play. No. So then the young people stop coming. The up and coming talent people stop coming. People that can really inform that environment and make it sparkle and vibrant, they don't want to come. Why should they come? See that's the thing? You make it really exciting, really interesting. Go to people that love chess, that it's uh, not a problem for them to buy you a club room, it's not a problem for them to get the most expensive furniture and the beautiful food, let them patronise it. That's where chess belongs. It's at the yeah, top. Yeah. It's at the top. Not in a scrody old... Oh, come on. Get about it. Who wants to go there? We only go there because we're conditioned. We think that's the only option, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, sure. option. Yep. Which is, which always amazed me how how incredibly discouraging it is. Well, hey. we've got in the library now. They've got we've got in our local library. Hmm. They've got chess on Sunday afternoons. There you go. And and but they there's, just there's still have no cup the of tea. There's still no cup oh, of tea. Okay, there's no me. food. But there's everything. Quiet. No, there is coffee in there. Well, there's it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. What are you going to do the rest of the evening? Yeah, well, there. I, I get you. I get they've got they're bringing into the library. Yeah. yeah. Great idea. I, I've I got about 12, 12 times two playing there. It was a hell of a lot. Lots and everything. A lot better All than uniform a rody old horrible. Yeah, what's well, way drafty better. old hall. And we are going like, oh, time to go now. You want a little light bulb when you're sitting around a yeah. candle to try and keep warm. Especially yet. if the president gets swindled in a game of chess, then it lights out. Yes. Mm. Door locked, keypad. What do you mean swindled locked. in the game of chess? What do you mean? Well, I mean that if you're the president of the club or the secretary or the person mm. who's got the key to the place. Oh yes, of course. And you get swindled in chess, it's everybody out. Doesn't matter what time it is. And he's best friends with the uh, hall rats. It's always hall rats. That you know, you know what hall rats his are? Name, actually. You know what hall rats are? Oh really? <laughs> his last guess. name is hall, yeah. hall. Well the hall rats are people that uh, have have been around for decades uh, looking looking after the hall. We probably haven't bought one stick of furniture for it. No, they swindled them and instead. And there'll be the old curtains that were, were, were hung there before the First World War. <laughs> yeah. And well, they haven't I'll... even had a wash, you know. That's the kind of thing, man. It's just some yeah. horrible environments. Well, chess, again, I repeat, top. Greatest game ever invented. It's, it's Lamborghini material. It's, it's not a beat up old uh, 50s Skoda, mate. <laughs> <laughs> our mutual friend, our mutual friend, has a problem with having the curtains drawn and the lights are yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. in the middle of the day, you know, oh, at a certain no, pub. He should be down at the beach. <laughs> where all the beauty girls, yeah, are that's where we go. Beauty girls I'm running not. around and going, Coo -hoo -hoo -hoo. and you got, uh, you can have a few beers and you saw yeah. something on the Barbie. People playing playing badminton. What the hell is wrong with people playing other games at the same time? Can't the chess player invite friends where their friends have, can play ping pong or badminton or pool or run around on the beach? Well, why, why does that have to be just like with the folk club? Why does that have to be just the folkies only playing covers that are 200 years old? And the modern folkies that are actually writing music that will be remembered, they're just ignored. Yeah. Case in point. 40 years ago, played at the Folk Festival. 
played in the folk club. And that stuff, they think, oh, that's here today and gone tomorrow. 40 years later, people still love that music. Yeah, they do. And that music's getting into movies and stuff. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wakey. 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 <laughs> I am a folky. It's just that you don't think I am. But it's just a very narrow bandwidth. Take themselves extremely seriously and they don't look after the up and coming young people. So do you think, um, yeah, I remember a time with our mutual friend, our mutual friend, and it happens to be a chest player. This isn't an occult signal when I do that. I'm just pretending that I've got glasses on, okay? And we went to the we went to the market, to the end market, and we had a Otago versus Canterbury yep. chess blitz match. Where was it? On the concrete, on the street, where, where next to the entertainers in Dunedin Market. Oh, at the Farmer's Market. The farmer's Market. We oh, stacked the Farmer's the Market, down man. You've got to fill, you've got to fill out the entertainment. Triplicate. You've got to have your attorney at your shoulder and fill out contracts no, and We triplicate. just went there and we just I played there a couple, of, couple down. of weeks ago. I was just, I just bought a coffee and I was sitting in yeah. there corner where nobody was and just playing gingerly like that and i had somebody <laughs> stride up to me and say oh. you've got to apply you've got to send an email <laughs> you've got to book in it. yeah you've got to book in a spot and meanwhile the old timers that are you know that have been around forever they can just sit there and they can busk for oh. six hours uninterrupted and unmolested because they're one of their they're one, one of, of the, the folk, Stasi. They're, folk, they're in the Stasi, right? Goodness. So they make the rules. It's okay for for those guys yeah, yeah. to to just play really yes, yes. Like just just tokenly and then spend half the three quarters of time just chatting away. But if it's me visitor to town, just sitting in a quiet, I knew they'd come. They always do. You know, you've always got always got the authority figure. <laughs> but you just I couldn't believe it. Just playing really quietly. Oh, in a couple of my mates. Not bothering anybody. <laughs> and I was doing something which is quite unique for a lot of us because I was yes, actually, I was actually <laughs> buying stuff. I was buying food for the week. I was buying coffee. I was bringing them lots of business. And next thing you go, Ooh, oh, oh, I haven't written to your website. Oh, I didn't write to your website. Oh, I didn't book in. Oh, really sorry. Oh, I'm a criminal. And then you said at 12.30, where it's I got called the devil's well, it, it finishes at 12.30 and everyone's packing up. I says, oh, maybe we'll just strum a little bit between 12.30 and 2 when people pack it up at the end of the day. I'm not allowed to do that either because we've got it booked out to the last oh, yes. syllable of recorded time, 2 o'clock. Not allowed to play then either. When the market's over and they're packing up, just playing a few tunes for my mates, not allowed to do that either. Move the chair um, forward a bit. Unbelievable. Um, and the other thing is, move the chair we forward. let it happen. No, no. Yep. move the chair forward. Yeah, we let it happen. Because I don't want it hitting yeah, yeah. the wall. Yeah, yeah, so we let it happen. silly about the wall. Yeah, you're really silly about the wall. Yes. Okay, we let it happen. We let authority figures take away all of our choice. We let it happen. Why do we do that? Can you tell me why we do that? Excuse me. You know why? My move? Because we're too trusting. Yeah. That's all it is. We trust everybody. So, oh, look, they'll manage it in an equitable way. No, they won't. No, they'll manage it in a way where one or two people that run it get all the privileges. It'll be their kids and their grandkids that are allowed to busk there. That's that's how it works, in actual fact. We'll just give it all away. Say, just one more thing in my game. Busking. If anybody puts any kind of stricture on you about busking, about where you can busk, how, all the rest of it. Hello, that's not busking anymore. Busking, by definition, is to drop your hat, play wherever you want. Not back. Please. Yeah, yep, yeah. buddy. Drop your hat. I want you up. Play anywhere. That's busking. Now with yeah, you guys, yes. with you guys, let's get onto the subject of you being given a license in perpetuity by the Christchurch City Council 
which they reneged on and told you later, oh, we've changed it now. That doesn't apply. Remember that? Tell your people about that. Away you go. Oh, I've just basically I've got a Christchurch permit yep. since the 90s that says I'm allowed to charge a nominal fee and ask it and get it. Yep. Uh, as long as it back then it wasn't more than five dollars to participate yep. in simultaneous chess. Okay, so what you need to do is all the people watching mm, this there we go. sign a petition. Okay. Get a petition together and get the signature of your subscribers and then go out in the street and get as many signatures as you can then just unashamedly carry on. And if they send their uh, pointy heads to tell you you can't do it, what you tell the pointy heads as is... As I can. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I have got the permit. Okay. So it's the lifetime permit I got told. And, and as long as I don't beat someone up physically or wait, something like that, I'll be able to One more it. thing. Yeah. You, you televise it. As soon as the pointy heads turn up, roll it. And then play it to your subscribers because it's good copy. Because you should have chess oh. sets. See how far you can get in a chess game before the pointy heads close you down. And just have a whole series of those games. And I think I'll be watching. And you guys watching this, I'm sure you'll be able to tell 50 of your friends to watch that. Controversy. <laughs> Controversy <laughs> generates publicity. <laughs> Remember that, guys. So the more controversial it is, the better. And... Uh, <laughs> Like you've got to, you've got to play. Treadle. You've got to play. You've got to be. It's not yeah. about being it's a, not a game. It, it, no, it's like this. It's well, the other way around. We should. It's at our discretion to allow the pointy heads to close us down. It's not at the discretion of the pointy heads as to whether we can play or not. We pay their wages. We decide what they can do to us, and they certainly can't come along to people who are not hurting anybody, doing an innocent thing like playing a game of chess. Or play a few a, a, a few chords on a guitar and tell you that you can't do it would you agree with that dave yep i would so i think that was one of the key things we needed to talk about well today. yeah i wasn't yeah. expecting you to but oh, i suppose i could thank you well we've already yeah. talked about it so what so, you do is you just get it to that tell me to get stuffed and then no, we'll go on to the next one. Oh well you know well there's things that you all do that annoy me and mm. things that i might Possibly, I don't know. I might actually sometimes, see, maybe look, I'm possibly taking, taking on the chin. See, taking it. Hang on. Where's your no, first, where's well, your first bring What first? are you taking on the chin? I don't understand of, what you're taking any on. Any sort of criticism? I thought I was perfect. Oh, I've got no criticism about I, myself. I'm perfect. I've never I'm, done anything wrong. No, I I've never either. done anything wrong in my whole life. No, I haven't either. No. I know that. I'm very good, at, even according to my pastor. Yeah, I'm way okay. better than him. Well, you're way better than your past. You, well, you're I better am. Than, I found out recently I am. You're better than a thousand. So you get the mouse off the you're screen. You're better than all the pastors of the world put together. Yeah, get the mouse off the screen. What are you doing on there? Hey, I think those uh, steaks will be ready. Okay, well, yep. shall we get going? Do you want to sing a song? or no. Can you do one of your no. tunes or mm. busking no. for us? Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Oh. No. Oh, I've got it organised for no. you to do some busking. No. Okay. I don't want to do anything. Well, you said, just go out there and clank around in the said, oven. He said, and he's got a really good job. And he said, when he retires, he said, what? He, he says, Luke, what I really want to do, and what I really want to do is I want to do absolutely nothing. Well, what is nothing, by the way? Well, I'll just read a book under a tree. I mean, look, that's okay. something. Okay, here we Under go. All right, yeah. all right, pick it. You know, yeah, split, well, split hairs, right. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, do what you like. Well, what happened before? What? Something that gives you pleasure that you enjoy doing is what you want to do, which might be doing absolutely nothing. In his case, he meant absolutely nothing. Okay, well, lie I mean, down, rest, sleep. Rest and sleep all day. This is what he's talking about. Piers Morgan would say to, to you now, mm. He'd ask you the question, okay, can you please tell me if you can answer this question? I'm going to ask you, I'll ask you first a chess question about what knight on the chessboard or horsey. What horsey? The horse. Which yeah, yeah. horsey would you back in a race? Um, if I had to back one or the other? Well, if you had to book 
back one of the horses or the knights on the chessboard, which knight would that be and why? Well, they they're equally valuable. Okay, all right. So they, you think they'd all run the same race? No, but they're equally uh, powerful, and in their positions, left or right, I wouldn't imagine that being on the left as opposed to on the right would be any different. Well, one power. international master that I interviewed had an answer for that as if it, he'd already been asked it a few years ago, oh, and really? he had a complete, uh, like, it just came out of his mouth just like I'm saying just now what I'm saying. The next question is, no, but what, did he what say? happened? What was his answer? What, what was his answer? Which uh, the Queen's Knight. Queen's Knight. Oh, okay. Yeah, Queen's okay. Knight. okay. Okay. So yeah. the Queen's horses and all yeah. the Queen's men. Yep. Yep. And the next question is a uh, very philosoph philosophical question: Is what happened before the nanosecond? Uh, nothing. Ah. Oh. Timelessness. So how can there be nothing? coming into something because it's from another dimension what dimension so it's come from something hasn't yeah, it but if we knew that so you were talking about nobody that knows it came from some other dimension it's oh, called okay. a mystery it's called That's a mystery and we don't know it because we've got this tiny brain and you'd have to have a brain the size of the universe to be able to figure it out okay mm. and we don't have that no we don't we've got this tiny little brain which is actually uh pretty pound for pound feeble, is not really. as good as a mouse brain no. So you say, if a, if yeah. a mouse is so intelligent right. that if it had a brain size mass, it would surpass us. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't enjoy uh, okay. being convivial. And, oh, one thing we were going to talk about, emotional intelligence, very important. So can you give your subscribers a something to think about between now and the next time we talk to them? I've got a to question. Say, Emotional intelligence. How important is that? And what is it? First, what is emotional intelligence? And then how important <laughs> is it? And it's been great talking to you guys. And this is it now. We finished. It's done. It's over. Once this kind of carry on happens, it's gone. We're, we're over now. <laughs>